then in that the coefficient of viscosity nita is equals to what i can write fv divided by a into dv by dy do you remember the units what we got first unit sir pascal second pascal second the pascal second is also known as what poiseuille so that is poiseuille <coughs> poiseuille and then that poiseuille in terms of cgs we got what is that in cgs in cgs we got poise 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 we got so one poise le is equals to how much we got nothing but that is 10 poise one deca poise otherwise 10 poise in cgs units the units are poise but one poise le is equals to 10 poise or deca poise we have seen these are the units that's it no units we have seen otherwise this one i can take as newton per meter square into second also even in cgs what i can take dyn per centimeter square into second only in cgs or poise we can take one poise le is equals to we have seen that one deca poise these are the units and then after that what we have discussed stokes law what is the stokes law states stokes law important formula is important the viscous force on a spherical object of radius r will be how much f is equals to 6 pi nita into rv there is no row and all somebody is saying that row so everybody is saying something if you say in the middle also nobody can identify but i will hear you separately so fv is equals to 6 pi nita r into v that is here nita what is the nita quotient of viscosity r is radius of the spherical object and then v is the velocity with which it is moving through the fluid that is about the viscous force we got by the stokes law and in that we have seen the terminal velocity what is the terminal velocity nothing but constant. it is a constant velocity what happens whenever the body is falling through a fluid at that time what happens nothing but after some point of time its buoyancy force viscous force will be equally balanced with the what weight of the object upwards force of buoyancy and then viscous force will be there downwards who will be there mg both will get balanced and then then whenever they are getting balanced at that time acceleration becomes how much zero acceleration is zero na no? yes acceleration is zero then what happens velocity will be constant that constant velocity is known as what terminal velocity so do you remember the formula for that vt is equals to what is the formula 6 by 6 by 9 into 2 by 9 no? yes 2 by 9 r square into rho minus sigma by nita g yes 2 by 9 r square g into rho minus sigma by nita that is our terminal velocity we got and after that we have seen the critical velocity what is the critical velocity nothing but up to critical velocity what happens streamline flow after the critical velocity turbulent flow that's it that critical velocity already we have seen yesterday that it is directly proportional to nita it is inversely proportional to the diameter and even inversely proportional to the density of the liquid so that vc is is equals to ni not equals to actually Re reynolds number will take nita by d into rho d is the diameter here rho is the density of the fluid in the pipe and then nita is the coefficient of viscosity here re is known as what reynolds number that will gives you re re will gives you the idea about the fluid flow which type of flow that is so that re is equals to here re formula what i can write vc into d rho by nita and i said one formula direct formula what is that inertial forces divided by viscous forces you have to get and then that reynolds number value will lies between the 1000 to 3000 and all not 3000 to 2000 if re is less than 1000 which which flow that is streamline flow or laminar flow and then re is greater than 2000 then turbulent flow then re is lying between the 1000 to 2000 which flow that is unsteady flow entirely this was we have discussed yesterday so the reynolds number is nothing but it will just gives you idea about the type of flow which flow that is and also the reynolds number is nothing but the ratio of the inertial forces to the viscous force and from this formula how we got that also i have shown you yesterday already so uh, inertial force divided by the viscous force will get for that another formula is re is equals to vc into d rho by nita you no need to remember everything here just remember this relation that's it you'll get all the formulas here the viscous this one critical velocity is directly proportional to the coefficient of viscosity 
and inversely proportional to the diameter and even inversely proportional to the density of the fluid. Then everything will get here. Clear? That is about the yesterday class. Now surface tension. Based on this, some problems are there. We will do in the separate classes. <coughs> Before that, surface tension. Surface tension and then surface energy we will discuss. Okay, glass to water to remember. Mm, glass full, full of glass. Paper water. No? No, it's not very good. ये नहीं रफ नो सर नाम लास्ट पेज पर था जास्ती बड़ा सोल पसाक ठीक है स्टेप हम्म ये नहीं एक्सक्यूज मी एक्सक्यूज मी ना यार यार क्या है तीस यू डोंट नो द नेम फुल पाशा यो यो टाइप आ Ayo, it is getting wet. So, what can I get quality the quarter paper? A four thara. Hmm. Kare. Yes. See that it just pass on to everybody and then show what happening here. How can I show otherwise? Yes. तो आ रहे तो आके इधर खड़ो ऐसे ही दिखा तुम्हें नो व्हाट एपनिंग ना तुम्हार यार सरफेस टेंशन आई टेल यू व्हाट इस सरफेस टेंशन फर्स्ट ऑफ़ सो सरफेस टेंशन ना तुम्हार एक्चुअली द फ्लुइड इज़ इन द स्टडी स्टेट ना तुम्हार द फ्लुइड इज़ इन रेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल दिस इज़ अ फ्लु Whenever you see on the fluid surface, at that time what happens in nothing but there will be a tension for that. For the fluid surface also there will be a tension. How that tension will act nothing but always whenever you just uh, uh, just uh, drop a water, drop of water you are just dropping. At that time what happens? Whenever it is falling on the ground, it will form which shape? Spherical shape, right? Obviously spherical. Wherever the water, if you find any draw, any water separately, small amount of water separately means complete compulsory it will form the spherical shape only. What is the reason? Nothing but always the water will try to acquire the minimum surface area. Why minimum surface area? Nothing but for example, I have poured water here like this. Very small drop of water for the diagram I am showing you bigger. Now here what happens? Nothing but between the water molecules what forces will be there? Cohesive forces will be there. What that cohesive forces will do? They will attract each other. All the water molecules will attract each other. So that they will attract each other from here to here, everything will be attracted here. Then what happens? Nothing but it will become a sphere. You are understanding or not? So always, due to the cohesive forces between the molecules, always water will try to acquire the minimum surface area. Okay, water will, wherever the water might be. Water, wherever the water might be, if you are pouring little bit of water, at that time compulsory it will try to acquire the minimum surface area. That one you can see easily in the mercury. In mercury whenever, for example otherwise, if I say, if I take the lead, lead nothing but whenever you are doing soldering, at that time some lead drop is fall down. In which shape it will be? Always in the spherical shape only. Why? Because there cohesive forces are dominative than the adhesive forces. Clear? Cohesive forces nothing but what? Between the same molecules. Adhesive forces nothing but what? Between the uh, dissimilar molecules we can say. So that whenever the lead drop is, lead is falling on the ground. Otherwise that uh, uh, mercury is falling on the ground. At that time be between the floor and then molecule, between the floor molecules and then lead molecules, adhesive forces will be there. So that cohesive forces are more attractive, more uh, efficient than the adhesive forces. So cohesive forces nothing but what happens, for example, we are only there. But, uh, for example, another college students are coming. Then what happens? You people will just mix up with your people only, right? Nothing but wherever you, the, wherever they might be left you, but you will gather one, one in the one place. Nothing but what happening? Whenever you are gathering, nothing but you are having the attraction force. As compared to their attraction force, your attraction force is dominating here. 
so what happens means you'll together you'll come to one place and then you'll form minimum surface area you're understanding or not so the attraction force within you is the cohesive force the attraction force within you and then to the other people is the adhesive force more than adhesive force which is which force is dominant here cohesive force is dominant so only will form a group will form a group nothing but you are in, decreasing the surface area in the same way in the case of water in the case of lead otherwise in case of mercury what happens whenever you are just pouring little uh, two drops of the mercury on the ground at that time what happens nothing but their cohesive forces be, uh, forces will be there between the lead molecules or mercury molecules at that time what happens nothing but that cohesive forces are more than this adhesive forces adhesive force nothing but what between the for example i'm dro just dropping some water here on my hand for my my hand and then my hand molecules and then for the water molecules adhesive forces will be there but within within the water molecules what will be there cohesive forces will be there whenever the water is dropping on my hand whenever water is dropped on my hand and then it will acquire the spherical shape why because it don't want to go along with my hand it wanted to be with the water molecules only those all the water molecules will be they, they wanted to be within the water molecules only so only what happens nothing but they will gather one place they are gathering nothing but automatically which shape will be formed there spherical shape only nothing but the surface tension is nothing but a property by which what happens means always the liquid surface will try to get the minimum surface area there is a property there is a property of liquid by virtue of which what happens always the liquid try to get the minimum surface area that minimum surface area will be possible in the spherical shape only so that always water drops wherever it might be always they will form the spherical surface area and also whenever in this property what happens nothing but due to this property the top surface of the water will become like a stretched elastic membrane what is elastic membrane nothing but nothing but rubber sheet only for example if you take very thin rubber sheet for example you might be blowing the bubble gum at that time what happens thin sheet will be formed right so that much of sensitiveness will be there for the water surface so the free surface of the water by the surface tension actually always water will try to acquire the minimum surface area and also due to this property the top surface of the water will be acting like a stretched elastic membrane nothing but elastic rubber sheet for example you are just cutting the uh, this one uh, balloon and then whenever you stretch it how it will be elastic membrane only and then whenever you are stretching it and then under you are putting some pen then what happens tension will be developed or not on the rubber sheet it will bend like this right so that tension is getting developed in the same way on the top surface also tension will get developed so only you might be seen in the uh, reality also whenever the mosquitoes will stand on the uh, so flow the, that one on free surface only what is the reason why they are not sinking what is the reason why they are not sinking because they are uh, those are having a very less weight ah huh? no right it's not the property surface is acting like a stretched elastic membrane that is a sheet only directly for the mosquitoes they are having very less weight in that much of less weight what happens nothing but the free surface will act like a sheet only so only whenever they are standing on the water surface they are not uh, getting sinked the reason is the tension is stopping them in the same way you might be seen in the discovery channel like that uh, not even the mosquito one big uh, in, in this this size of insect will be there that will be standing on the liquid surface only have you seen that all the legs will be there i think uh, four five legs will be there <laughs> whatever it might be so that whenever it is standing it will not stand like this whenever you stand like that at that time it will get sinked that will stand like this have you seen that ever yes i'll show you i'll show you in the phone so that there what happens nothing but again for that object also the she the free surface is acting like a sheet only whenever you are just putting a pin on this needle on this needle also will not get sinked if you put the needle in this vertical direction it will get sinked whenever you put horizontally slowly you just left on the free surface then what happens it will not sink your whatever the pins also whatever the stapler pins also whenever you leave on the water surface it will not get sinked the reason is because it is a stretched elastic membrane it is having some tension whenever i put more weight obviously it will get sinked nothing but that tension is overcoming by the mg there but now whenever i put the lighter object the tension e is balancing the mg mg of the object so only it is not sinking it is in the equilibrium 
clear and then whoever might be walking this uh, yogi sandal they might be walking on the water so for them surface tension will not act that is uh, some other uh, effect only <laughs> why because they are having more weight right otherwise you can even test <laughs> you just go and then put your leg on the water and then <laughs> get sink there only <laughs> right that is about the surface tension <laughs> penguin <laughs> penguin Penguin will have this wings and then it will swim. Penguin water will not be fish water will not be able to swim. Varun, Varun can walk. walk. Why? Because he is having that much of power. Hogi Shri Wali can meet Mari Bandhidru. Jasti power coat it is energy. So, the thing is here, surface tension nothing but it is a property by which what happens? The liquid will acquire the minimum surface area. Minimum surface area due to which one? Due to cohesive forces. Cohesive forces are more dominant than the adhesive forces here. So due to the cohesive forces, they will always try to acquire the minimum surface area. That will be in the spherical shape obviously. So only whenever you see a leaf is there here. A leaf is there. At the end of the leaf, what happens? Nothing but whenever the rain is falling on this, at the end of the leaf, what happens? Water drop will be there like this. Correct? Huh? Exact shape only. Yeah, nadi? Gatation. You know, gatation or namge rotation got the step, gatation and gotila. So here, here what happens? Nothing but it is falling down like this means it has to directly it can fall as a uh, like a what do we call it as a stream only right why it is not falling like that nothing but here what happening whenever the water is falling on the leaf at that time it will acquire the spherical shape what's the reason nothing but because adhesive forces are dominated by which forces here cohesive forces and then whenever this uh, last drop is falling down it at that time it will not fall as a stream it will just form as a drop only. What is the reason? Nothing but again here cohesive forces are dominated on adhesive forces between the air molecules and then water molecules. Whenever the drop is hanging like this, whenever the drop is hanging like this, what is the reason? Nothing but it is uh, why it is uh, acquiring the spherical shape. Nothing but because the cohesive forces between the water molecules is dominated by the adhesive forces between the air molecules and then water molecules. Understand or not? So that here due to that cohesive forces, it is all the cohesive forces are nothing but nothing but their water molecules are attracting towards each other. They are attracting nothing but they will be together always grouped. And then they will not go along with the whatever the air molecules otherwise whatever the hand molecules and all. So only what happening it is acquiring the spherical shape here. Clear? <laughs> so that is about the surface tension. Surface tension is nothing but the property by which the liquid surface will try to get the minimum surface area and also Due to this property, here always this water molecules will be attracted by the other water molecules. Due to this property, the top surface of the water will act like a stretched elastic membrane. It is acting like a rubber sheet means it will have the tension. Whenever any object if I put on this, on the top surface if I put any needle from the cross section we are seeing that. Let me take, I have put a needle like this inside. I put just like this. So, if you see this cross section, at that time on this what happens nothing but it will bend like this little bit. You are able to assume that it is bending, it is just bending only, it is not falling down. What is the reason nothing but here there will be a tension in this direction and then in this direction. There will be a tension. So, due to this tension, let me take the tension is surface tension is yes we will take otherwise T we can take anything is correct only. Now downwards who is acting obviously Mg is acting. And then this surface tension is there. The result of these two will be, let me take here, this is theta and then this is also theta means, this will be what along with this? S cos theta. This is also S cos theta. And then in this direction what will get? S sin theta plus S sin theta. How much that is? 2S sin theta. Now this uh, Mg is balanced by this 2S sin theta. So only it is not falling down. For example, if I put an object with more weight, let me take capital Mg. At that time, this tension will be dominated by, uh, no, Mg is dominated by the tension. So, what happens? Nothing but Mg will overcome the tension and then it will fall down. General cases also, whenever you are just hanging something for the, uh, any rope, otherwise any string, 
at that time whenever you are putting for example i have taken very small thread i have taken very thin spread I, thread i have taken on that i just hanged 1 kg of mass nothing is happening so tension is there in the string uh, everything is okay now whenever i hang 10 kg mass then what happens it will go it will go down right the string will get breaked what is the reason nothing but the tension is overcome by which one mg here nothing but it is more than the breaking tension i said that it will this will also act like what very small stretched elastic membrane very thin stretched elastic membrane like the bubble gum only for the bubble gum if you will give little bit tension also it will just blown off so in the same way here this is also very thin so only it will it will can it can bear up to some weight only the tension of the the rubber sheet can bear up, up to only some weight if i put more weight on that then what happens nothing but this tension will be overcome by the mg and then it will fall down and then it will go into the water clear that is about the surface tension always by the surface tension what happens liquid will try to get minimum surface area due to which forces cohesive forces and then after that what happens due to this property the free surface of the liquid will act like a stretched elastic membrane clear that is about the surface tension and also in this surface tension only whenever you can even see within your uh, whatever bot water bottle caps also you can take on that you can pour the water completely fully and then you just uh, drop a piece of paper a good quality paper you just drop on that then what happens nothing but tension will be developed it will get little bit bended and after that it will get lifted so what is the reason nothing but in that from all the directions what is happening nothing but there tension is there in three dimension if you see from all the directions let me take i just put a paper of uh, this much of area on in the bucket of water then what happens then tension will be developed in that why because the free surface is like a stretched elastic membrane then tension will be acting in all the directions like this the resultant of that tension only holding the mg here that is only balancing with mg so that that tension is equals to mg will be there and then so only that is in equilibrium it is not getting synced because of the surface tension only clear that is about the surface tension now this surface tension another formula will be there that is let me take if i take the free surface of the liquid like this top view we are just viewing from the top okay assume that everything is based on the assumption only how you are viewing the liquid surface is important here why because if you see from the side this one you will get confused again this one i said from the side now now you are viewing from the top view so at that time what happening nothing but this is a free liquid surface this is acting like water stretched elastic membrane due to which property surface tension now on that what i am doing nothing but i am just dropping a small needle very thin needle then what happens is it getting sink here no it will be on the water only it will be floating on the water only but what happens means little bit it will go down whenever you are just taking the rubber sheet on that you are just putting a coin at that time what happens shape will be changed right so in the same way here also the shape will be changed now how the tension is acting on that nothing but the tension is acting in this way in this way the tension is acting in the both the sides you are able to assume that uh, due to this tension only what happens nothing but the resultant will come on the top and then mg will be there inside and then both will get balanced remember that you are viewing from the top okay i am just lifting it and then i am showing you now whenever i put the object of length l here on that tension nothing but tension is nothing but a force only a force will be acting perpendicular to the length that is known as the surface tension so that surface tension s is equals to what i can write nothing but the force acting upon a unit length of the object that is the surface tension force acting upon a unit length of the object that force only balancing with what mg here so that f is equals to what i can write nothing but s into l that f is equals to what i can say again it is floating nothing but mg so that mg is equals to sl both are balancing with each other then only the body will be in equilibrium clear that is about the surface tension surface tension nothing but the property is okay but the formula is the force acting upon a unit length and that force should be always perpendicular to the length always it will be perpendicular to the length if you see here this uh, whenever you see here tension is acting by that tension here what happening nothing but here there is a surface tension resultant surface tension in the upward direction now length is there in the inward direction and then tension is there in the upward direction so always they will be perpendicular only you have to take always the force act, uh, acting upon a unit length and then that force should be always perpendicular to the length of the object 
not only this needle anything you might be take this pin also this kind of pin will be there no for papers we will put that even whenever you drop that also even it will also float sir if you drop the your safety pin also it will also float sir so very lighter objects sir whenever the mosquito can walk on the water easily and also one more insects will be there they can walk on the water easily otherwise you might be seen practically also whenever a dry leaf is falling on the water surface then what happens it will be like this shape here water this one will be there here leaf will be there then it will be there in the in this shape what is the reason nothing but it is not getting sinked why because the body is light only but that lightness is what it is doing nothing but it is balancing with the surface tension so only it will be in the equilibrium so always you have to just assume that the top surface will be like a rubber sheet only in this surface tension one more concept will be there for us for object very important that is whenever you want to lift it for example i want to lift it in the upward direction then what happens i think i can show i can show you full amma what is all bakri in one solpa neven sir ಬಿಂದೇನೆ ತಗೊಂಬಂದಿದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೀ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಗ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಫಾಲ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಆನ್ ಹರ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ನಾಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಫಿಂಗರ್ at that time along with my finger the water will try to come you are understanding that will happen you just observe that now see that i just lifted i just lifted already separated but in between my finger and then water surface there is some water see that i lifted already yes you are able to observe that otherwise you take your bottles and then put like this and then lift, <laughs> lift like this <laughs> <laughs> so here you can you can see that you can see and then you can do it separately also you can do by your own whenever i lift like this at that time what happening nothing but water is trying to come along with my hand are able to assume that i think in the life from this class nobody will drink the water ha <laughs> ah, right 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 it is coming see the shape of the liquid surface first of all shape of the top surface i'm saying here so here whenever i lift at that time what happening nothing but it is forming this kind of shape you are able to assume that actually flat surface is there before now what happening nothing but whenever i lift the pen at that time along with the pen it is a, this shape so why it is happening nothing but due to the surface tension due to the surface tension what happening here see that i'm just lifting it at that time it is forming this kind of shape <coughs> so whenever i lift it it is forming this kind of shape correct whenever i lift it what happens actually the water don't want to come along with me but i'm lifting it then what happens nothing but due to the cohesive forces they will be always stick to the other molecules only but some of the water is there on the pen also so only what happening nothing but due to that cohesive forces then what happens whenever i lift in this direction then tension will be acting on the body always so the tension is acting tension is acting in which direction nothing but in this direction and then in this direction actually whenever you are lifting at that instant of time the tension will be acting in this direction obviously the water is uh, the water is there in which direction downward direction only so tension is yes is acting in this direction so how many ss are there here two yes and also the excess force required the extra force required to lift the body from the surface of the water is how much nothing but f is equals to how much i can write here s plus s will be 2s acting upon the length right force nothing but this is surface tension only but you have to take the force only force is equals to what is the formula s into l so force in the downward direction is what sl even in this direction also sl only so the totally how much will get 2sl is the excess force required and total force required is the minimum force required is how much nothing but already downwards who is acting here mg is acting so only the f minimum minimum force required is mg plus 2sl the extra force is 2sl always mg will be there on that so the total force they ask nothing but mg plus 2sl in that 
which force you are applying extra extra nothing but which force here two sl is the extra force always whenever you are lifting the body you have to see the shape of the water how it is forming so whenever i just lift the ring at that time what happens in this mainly most of the people will confuse to take the two surfaces or one surface you might be confused in that uh, whatever the theory classes already you have listened but that is very easy trick whenever you lift the body in the upward direction at that time in how many directions you will form this shape so for example whenever i just taken this as a needle on the free surface and then i'm just lifting it whenever i lift it how many directions will go you'll get that shape in this direction and then in this direction two directions so only how much you got here two sl now whenever i have taken or uh, uh, just annular ring annular ring nothing but what i can say double ring will be you know like this thick ring of different radius r1 and then r2 whenever i have lifted that then which shape it will form how many surfaces sir? again two. two surfaces don't confuse about the four two and all just observe the shape how it will be there nothing but it will be there in this manner correct huh? inside also outside also will be there for example if i take this bangle only yes bangle is the best example now if i take this one let me take the inner radius is r1 and then outer radius is how much r2 now whenever i am lifting it the excess force i am finding by the way here mg is not included mg we can include in the problems only they, whenever they ask now here whenever i am lifting it this is an annular ring annular ring nothing but you can see back side of the bowls they will there will be a disc type of shape will be there right here from that back side a disc shape will be there that is known as the annular ring nothing but inner radius is separate and then outer radius is separate best example is cd you can take dvd cd you can take so in that what will be there inside hole will be there and then ring will be there so that what happens nothing but inner radius is separate and then outer radius is separate now in that what happening means i'm just you know, just tying with some threads and then i'm lifting it whenever i lift it then what happens here also the water will try to come and then even here also the water will try to come so that how many surfaces here two surfaces so how much will get nothing but again two sl only whenever you take only ring very thin ring at that time how many radius will be there only one radius will be there in one radius what happens nothing but the entire length is about only one length you have to take whenever you take the disc disc nothing but whenever i lift the disc at that time what happens around it only around it only one surface will be there in the around of the disc i can say that whenever i draw the disc like this now what happens nothing but the surface tension will be acting in this way only you're able to assume that whenever i lift in the upward direction obviously in all the directions in all the directions from the bottom side also what will be acting nothing but surface tension will be acting nothing but how many lengths it is covering only one length surrounding it inside empty is there nothing but how many lengths it will cover two lengths it will cover for example if i take the annular ring like this at that time here also the surface tension will be there you're assuming here so for, for example if i say this one is the annular ring if i consider now on the outer surface also tension will be there and then on the inner surface also tension will be there you're able to assume that so that this tension is covering how many lengths nothing but two lengths here one is this length outer length and then another is inner length whenever you take the surface tension here covering how many lengths nothing but only one length that's it why because this is a ring, uh, this is a disc even for the ring also how many radius will be there only one radius will be there if i take the ring like this on that ring how the surface tension will be acting nothing but in this way surface tension will be acting so how many lengths it is covering again only one length only whenever i consider the rectangular plate rectangular plate i considered means for example this is a rectangular plate whenever i am lifting from the water at that time what happens nothing but in this direction downwards surface tension will be there surface tension downwards 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 so that what is the total length here total length length plus breadth circumference you have to consider always the circumference of the rectangular plate is nothing but length plus breadth only l plus b only so that here this one is acting in the down downward direction so everything only one surface tension is there nothing but covering how much circumference is important if i take that as a uh, what is that frame rectangular fl- frame at that time what happens rectangular frame nothing but from inwards and then from the outwards whenever you are lifting that that you can observe easily inwards is there and then outwards also is there outwards here like this is there and then inwards also there will be one more thing 
so that what happens at that time we'll get two times of length into breadth one one come one circumference for the outer one another circumference for the inner one you'll get whenever i have taken this uh, one uh, what is that uh, square plate at that time how much uh, tension will be there force divided by length is how much length square plate circumference you have to consider how much circumference is there 4l yes into 4l you will get total length na total length you have to get here also how many lengths are there here two lengths and then two breadth i think i said l plus b only right sorry so 2l plus 2b you have to consider that is about the total circumference for the rectangular plate for the square plate how much it will be there l plus l plus l plus l how much that will be 4l whenever i consider that as a square frame at that time how much will be there 4l outside 4L inside, so that how much will be there? 8L will be there. Clear? And also, whenever I have taken semicircular disc like this, semicircular disc I have taken of radius R. <coughs> so now tell me, how much length you have to consider? How much length you have to consider? Plate I have taken. That is a plate. 2 pi r by 2 is for the this one sur uh, curved sur surface and then for the this one flat surface how much is there here r plus r nothing but plus 2r then pi r plus 2r that is about the plate whenever i have taken for the ring like this half of the ring i have taken means 2 times of pi r and then 2 times of 2r clear why because already inner surface is there free only outer surface also free only on the inner surface also tension will act on the outer surface also tension will act can i do say yes you are doing experiment here so that is about the surface tension i will tell you that in separate problems we will do that first of all write surface tension surface tension is the property by which surface tension is the property by which by which the free surface of the liquid the free surface of the liquid behaves like behaves like stretched elastic membrane stretched elastic membrane stretched elastic membrane in the next line due to this property due to this property always the fluid surface will try to get the the fluid surface will try to get the minimum surface area the fluid surface will try to get the minimum surface area minimum surface area right next the next line surface tension can also be defined as surface tension can also be defined as <coughs> the force acting upon the force acting upon <coughs> unit length of the object <coughs> unit length of the object and always and always it will act perpendicular to the and always it will act perpendicular to the length of the object always it will act perpendicular to the length of the object like that formula s is equal to f by l s is equal to f by l yen martta idya nidde bartta idya odiri solpa help maadre avarge so s is equal to f by l then f is equal to sl 
f is equals to sl <coughs> f is equal to sl this force will be yen mana mana you are taking this and then giving to me ba esta abhimana andre what is it this force will be balanced with the weight of the object weight of the object weight of the object so that so that the object can be in equilibrium without sinking in the water without sinking in the water so that don't confuse between that and then this sir why she has taken here angle why she is not taking here that and all you don't think this i just kept it i just kept it in the equilibrium and i am then i am observing how it is in equilibrium nothing but because the tension is acting in this direction and then resultant of that tension is equal to how much we got 2s sin theta will be balanced by which one mg here so that this is in equilibrium 2s sin theta is equal to mg we got that's it that is about the equilibrium state now this entire thing is i am just lifting it whenever i am lifting at that time how the tension is acting nothing but in the downward direction it is acting why because whenever i lift whenever it is there near to the liquid surface at that time it is there like this whenever i am just still pulling upwards at that time what happening whenever you can see that whenever i am just still pulling upwards at that time the water is there like this whenever i am very near to the surface at that time just on the surface at that time it will be like there like this and then the, i am just trying to lift just on the surface whenever little bit i moved at that time what happening nothing but the water is becoming like this correct at that time the tension is acting in this directions so don't confuse between that and then this i just kept that in equilibrium now this one in, in this all the cases i am just lifting them in the upward direction how much excess force is required to lift the object in the upwards from the top of the water surface that is what everything i have explained here then this one is just belongs to whenever i keep i kept on the water surface why it is not sinking nothing but it is not sinking because of this tension is there in this direction and then the resultant is there in this direction that resultant is balancing by mg here i just kept like that only i am not touching it and then i am observing it now this one what i am doing here i am lifting it whenever i lift it at that time what happens nothing but initially just whenever i am just moving away from the water surface at that time it will be there in this same whenever i just uh, lifted uh, still more upwards nothing but at that time it will be there in this shape it is there in this shape nothing but we are lifting here for lifting how much excess force is required that is what the question here the excess force is required here here tension is acting here here also downwards tension is acting that is how much s into l force nothing but s into l tension is s only surface tension is s only but the force is equal to what here i said the formula as s is equal to how much f by l then force is equal to how much here sl you have to consider now sl force is acting in the downward direction due to the surface tension even here also for this other side also sl is acting in the downward direction now what happening f xs is equal to how much i can write f xs is equals to sl plus sl how much it will be 2sl now i want to find out the total force required total force required nothing but what i can say even mg also have to include so that that f minimum force otherwise f total force is equals to i can say that that is sl plus sl plus mg so that is how much 2 sl plus mg is a total force required but but as per now you just find excess force for all the bodies whichever the bodies i am going to give now clear only excess force mg is not necessary however you, in the final what you will do just you have to add mg that's it clear before that you write this one when a small needle when a small needle is just dropped on the is just dropped on the free liquid surface horizontally horizontally <coughs> then the mg will be balanced by and the mg will be balanced by 2s sin theta
mg will be balanced by 2s sin theta draw the diagram college bottle alli water thagamba kasalpa kudi okay in next stage half mar beka speed ah only this one you are copying everything ah uh? only this one mg is equals to 2s sin theta you write then write a problem write a problem find the excess force required find the excess force required to lift to lift a small needle of length l a small needle of length l from the fluid surface from the fluid surface from the fluid surface what is it SL is answer. Two SL is answer. SL nothing but only we are finding about only one side. Another side also there no. Here what happening means whenever you are just viewing from the side view. Side view we are viewing here. So here whenever I take like this needle I have taken on the liquid surface. Now whenever I lift little bit, little bit nothing but completely I am not off from the this one fluid surface. At that time what happens means. it will be there in this shape it will be there in this shape completely not at not at lifted whenever completely i lifted at that time what happens your force is acting obviously completely lifted at that time what happens nothing but the fluid surface will come like this whenever you assume this properly then only you can understand entire problem you are just viewing from the side for example i am doing entire experiment in the glass uh, glass uh, whatever vessel we have taken and that in that i am just lifting in front of you only at that time you are viewing from the side this is the side cross sectional area of the needle you don't think that this is the needle this one is the needle you are you are i am doing here so whenever i lift it a little bit upwards from the fluid surface at that time what happens nothing but it will form this type of shape now whenever i lift completely even it is completely lifted at that time the fluid will try to come like this correct so it will try to come in this shape nothing but what happens here here because of surface tension is acting even here also surface tension is acting whenever i am just little bit lifted at that time actually surface tension is acting in this directions but you have to lift off completely right so whenever i lifted completely at that time the fluid is forming this type of shape now this force is how much here s into l only surface tension is yes sir acting upon what length length of the needle is how much i said l total entire length entire length surface tension will be there in the downward direction for the entire this length also in the downward direction and then i'm just lifting in the upward direction at that time what you have to take nothing but this is uh, completely this force is this side force is how much nothing but sl completely this side force is how much sl again totally will be how much now it is 2 sl this is the excess force required so that f excess is equals to 2 into s into l why because sl plus sl 2 sl that will be for one surface force is sl from this surface also there other surface and then for that force is again sl only just yes, hold it hold it like this like this it's pen only e e l l just hold it ah, yes now whenever i kept in the liquid surface up or up so here whenever i just kept in the liquid surface like this now what happening nothing but it is there first of all on the liquid surface L lift little bit little bit just li lift lift re mele ettiri ani thoba ni thoba ha it is there like this no here what happening nothing but it is there on the surface now little bit you lift nana yes now it is forming like this shape like this when you lift little bit more then it will form like this 
and understanding or not first of all like this it was there now whenever he lift a little bit at that time it formed this shape whenever he lift completely at that time it is forming this shape now along my hand what is acting here surface tension is acting this side completely one surface tension this side completely one surface tension that force will be equal to how much this force is sl this force also equals to sl so how many sls are there here two sls so only we'll got we'll get the net force is equal to how much two sl there excess force now if i take the total force total force is how much here downwards what is acting mg plus 2 sl any joke so that your total is equals mg plus 2 sl that is the answer for that question enappa enanta stretches sa excess ah uh, then i am giving bonus sir that is the total force <laughs> somebody said no problem <laughs> that's my word right always i'll use that <laughs> imitation and all you will learn properly subject you will not learn <coughs> So next problem. Next problem. Find the excess force required. Find the excess force required to lift. To lift. Find the excess force required to lift a disc of. To lift a disc of. Radius r. A disc of radius r. from the from the top of the free fluid surface 2 pi 2 pi r into s see that whenever i'm just uh, lifting a disc uh, disc means what i can show nothing i can show any disc is there any disc ah bottle cap i can show right now this is the disc i have considered now what happening whenever it is there on the fluid surface at that time uh, nothing is happening whenever i am lift it whenever i am lifting it at that time the fluid will try to uh, form this shape you are understanding or not like this like this it will be there so from all the sides only how much length is covering only outer length is covering if inner length also covering then you have to take inner length also but here entirely it is completely disc right there is no space in between so what happening nothing but as per you from your direction i am showing you then it will form this type of shape like this it will be there so all my fingers are covering how much which length nothing but only the outer length outer circumference only so that the formula is what f is equal to what is the formula s into l how much length it is covering all my fingers are covering how much length 2 pi r only circumference of the disc is how much 2 pi r only so that you have to take it as now in the all the directions downward direction what is happening nothing but the surface tension is acting the force due to surface tension how much nothing but that is s into l so f excess is equal to so the excess force required is equals to what i can say s into length of the disc is how much length is total length is 2 pi into r so that f excess is equals to 2 pi r 2 pi into r next problem is for the ring for the ring think properly and then tell me hmm how much no no normal ring only thin ring only i have considered not annular ring this is normal ring only of radius r 4 pi r s what is that 4 pi r s very good see that whenever i have taken this as a ring at that time whenever i am lifting in the upward direction at that time outer fluid is there like this and also inner fluid is there like this so in a outward direction outer fluid is there exactly like this and then inner fluid also there so here how much length is covering 2 pi r inner inner surface is covering how much length again 2 pi r only so that this is 2 pi r that is 2 pi r totally together is how much 4 pi r into s yes, is the surface tension here clear so write that for the ring next one ring you keep as a heading and then uh, write that for the ring draw the diagrams properly then only you can understand that otherwise you cannot understand
1 l is for what s into l plus l 1 l is for what outer circumference another l is for what inner circumference then totally 2 s into l that is 2 into s into 2 pi r then that will be 4 s pi r that is the answer 4 s pi r is the answer <coughs> next one is annular ring or thick ring yes very good annular ring or thick ring see that i have taken the annular ring like this inner radius is how much r1 outer radius is r2 now tell me what is the force required this is completely ring 4 pi into r1 plus r2 actually what happens nothing why into s obviously now here what happens means whenever i lift it like this at that time due to the outer surface tension will be there in all the directions and also inner space also there free space wherever free space is there in the ring free space was there so only inside and then outside we considered for the disc inside the free surface is not there so only outside only outside we have considered for the needle we have considered two free surfaces are there that side and then this side so only we have considered two uh, two surfaces free surfaces you just assume the uh, water shape that's it you will understand everything now here also what happening nothing but two surfaces are there one is free surface inside another is free surface outside at that time what happens means your uh, surface tension will be acting like this from the outer surface and then on the inner surface also it will be acting you are able to assume that so all this uh, surface tension will uh, cover how much length nothing but inside length inside length is how much l1 let us consider outside length is l2 so now my excess force required is f excess is equals to that is s into inner length plus outer length correct inside length also covering outside length also covering but in this case what happening nothing but disc shape in this case, uh, in that case inside nothing free is there it is not covering the inner surface here but in the case of ring it is again covering the inner surface and then outer surface even for the annular ring also inner surface is free only here this is also entirely free only inner surface and then outer surface here how many surfaces are free here one is inner surface and one is outer surface in this case how many surfaces are free only one surface that is outer surface in this case how many surfaces are free two surfaces one is this side another is that side clear now here this is l1 plus l2 s into what is the l1 here 2 pi r1 plus l2 is how much 2 pi r2 then what will you get here s into 2 pi into r1 plus r2 actually we have to get 4 pi and all right here we got two radiuses here if i have same both are same only then what happens it will be which shape if i say r1 is equal to r2 it will be which shape ring right so ring nothing but how much answer we got 4 pi rs that is what we got here because the radiuses are different we got r1 plus r2 you just assume this as a 2 r only then total value will be how much here 4 pi rs only same like ring clear now next one is next one is rectangular plate rectangular plate of length l and then breadth b length l and then breadth b completely plate closed everything how much 2 into l plus b see that whenever whenever i lift this book i lift this book from the water surface at that time what happens on this breadth what will be there surface tension will be there in which direction downward direction on this length downward direction on this also downward direction on this also downward direction you are also here uh, don't uh, directly you talk, don't take this one circumference you take length first of all length nothing but you are covering the entire body entire circumference of the body in case of a rectangular plate also entire circumference is equal to how many lengths are there two lengths and then two breadths so that 2l plus 2b that is the total length covered here so total length covered is s into l only s into how many free surfaces are there by the way the circumference only how many free circumferences are there free circumference i said one only right how many sides are there free sides nothing but four sides are there four sides are different so that only you have to take b plus l plus b plus l i have covered entire total circumference here so that you have to consider about the free circumference only 
so here in the case of plate free circumferences are how many nothing but only one free circumference is there how many sides are there nothing but four sides you just don't think about the sides circumference only you have to remember always so that here in this case in this case what happening nothing but the excess force required f x s is equals to how much i can write s into how much length they are covering total how many circumference only one circumference in one circumference how much distance i am covering here the surface tension is there here also the surface tension is there in the downward direction here also downward direction here also downward direction so what i can say nothing but here s into l plus b plus l plus b you understood right everything so this side also downwards is there on the length side on the breadth side breadth side also downwards on the length side again downwards on the breadth side again downwards so the totally will be how much this will be s into 2 into l plus b obviously the circumference of the rectangular uh, uh, shape is how much nothing but 2 into l plus b only that is about the rectangular plate now if i consider the rectangular ring rectangular uh, frame very thin how much that will be 4s into l plus b very good <coughs> rectangular frame as a rectangular wire you can consider anything very thin very thin nothing but how many free circumferences here two free circumferences inside one circumference is there outside also another circumference is there everything is same only why because i have taken very thin uh, thin uh, frame here so that here the force will act like this surface tension will act like this here from the outer side and also even in the inner side also it will act inner side it will act like this are able to assume that so inner one green one is covering how much nothing but one circumference inner circumference this blue one is covering how much circumference nothing but outer circumference so the due to the green one first one inner surface for the inner surface the force is equals to excess force is equals to how much here s into totally how much here 2 into l plus b only for the inner one again for the outer one separator f x s is equals to again s into 2 into l plus b only again together for the inner and then outer together is how much total is equals to totally f x s is equals to 4 into s into l plus b clear that is about the rectangular frame now tell me i will not draw that square frame square frame square frame la uh, plate square plate 4 into sl what is the reason nothing but here s is the surface tension okay you just keep it aside now i have taken the square shape let us consider this is only a square shape like this this is a square shape now what happens nothing but whenever i lift this one in the upward direction here surface tension is there one length l covered another length covered another length covered and then another length covered how much how many circumferences are there only one circumference because this is a plate so that how much will get nothing but so here for the square plate then what will get the fx is nothing but fx is equals to s into one length first of all length l another length then length l another third length length l another fourth length l so that what is the answer here 4s into l that is a fx is in case of which one square plate square plate of side l next square frame very good why because inside also free outside also free only inside surface tension is different outside surface tension is different that is square frame is f x s is equals to s into 2 times of 4l why because for the inner and then for the outer then what is the answer you will get here 8 sl that is the f x s for the square plate next semi circular disc semi circular disc how many free free circumferences are there first of all disc i have taken circumference nothing but entire uh, entire length we have to consider that is only one right in one length this circumference is separate this circumference is separate here yes sir this circumference is how much here pi r this circumference is how much here this length is 2 here 2 r i am sorry 2 r then the excess force required is f excess is equals to s into one of the length is how much here pi r 
another outer length is how much here? 2R. Then totally will be how much here? SR into pi plus 2, na? Correct, huh? Pi plus 2. This is about the plate I have considered, semicircular plate, semicircular disc. If I consider semicircular ring, ring I have considered. Ring nothing but how many free circumferences are there? Inside one, outside another one. So for the outer one you will get as this much. For the inner also same thing only here you will get. So that the fxs is equal to how much you will get? 2 into sr into pi plus 2. For the outer one as well as inner one you will get. Clear? Huh? That is about the, this one is a semicircular ring. <coughs> Everything is based on the assumption only here. Nothing is there. Just based on the assumption. You have to just uh, think about the shape of the whatever the body I said. That will have how many free surfaces. That will give you the answer. That's it. Clear? This marker is having how many free surfaces? Two. Only two free surfaces. This one side, this is another side. If I take, cylinder is not possible. If I take uh, any uh, other cylinder also, you just tell me about the free surfaces. It is not possible on the uh, water. Hollow cylinder. Hollow cylinder. How many circumferences? First of all, tell me. One is outer circumference, another is inner circumference. Clear? Whenever I put the cylinder also on the uh, this one on the water surface, at that time inner surface will not get affected by the water. Why? Because it will not touch the water only, right? You understand? Whenever I cut this one, I can form the shape of the ring. Whenever I form the shape of the ring, at that time, how many free surfaces are there? Nothing but one is outer one, another is inner one. If I take the disc, at that time, how many free surfaces? Only outer surface only. Whenever I take the rectangular plate, at that time, only outer surface, but the total length is 2L plus 2B, obviously. Whenever I take the rectangular ring, at that time, rectangular frame, at that time what happens inner free surface outer free surface also you understand how to take that this is about the all the shapes of the bodies next surface energy 10 30 we have started huh? 12 o'clock no surface energy i'll just tell you the definition what is surface energy and then we'll stop Everything you copy, right? You are clear about all the bodies. See, don't confuse in that. Just you just assume the shape of the body. That will give you the answer. For example, if I take the, if I take only this uh, this one, black one, how many free surfaces? See that middle, middle hole is there already. One is inner free surface, another is outer free surface. You have to consider. Clear, huh? So that is about the different uh, shapes of the bodies. More than this, then nothing will come. Almost we have discussed everything. <coughs> yes, soap bubble also will be there. Yes, I forgot that really. So, water drop. Water drop. How many free surfaces? Water drop. Drop nothing but inside water is there. Only which is free surface nothing but outer surface is free surface. Whenever I consider this as a water drop, at that time, how many free surfaces are there? Nothing but only outer surface. Air is touching only outer surface. Inside already water is there. So inner surface is not free. Only outer surface is free. So that what is the what is the so, so, this one length? Nothing but you will get the total circumference of the sphere. You have to get. So that will get in the surface energy. By the way. So another thing is whenever we have considered the soap bubble. Soap bubble at that time. In soap bubble, how many free surfaces? Outside air is there already? One free surface. Inside what is there? Nothing. Inside is empty. Empty nothing but air only again. So that how many free surfaces? Two free surfaces. Clara, don't confuse about that. In soap bubble nothing but inside empty only. Everybody know that. Inside empty nothing but inside what is there? Air is there. Inner surface is also free. Outer surface also free. Only on the circumference only the water is there. Right, soap solution is there only on the circumference, circumference only. Whenever you see outer surface is free and then inner surface also free only. At that time, how many free surfaces? Nothing but two free surfaces. That will get in the soap film. Soap film if I consider, nothing but the, but the rectangular shape only again, soap film. For that, how many free surfaces? Nothing but one is entirely from the other one side, another is from the another side. So that 
two free surfaces will be there for the soap filling. You don't confuse between the plate and then that. Plate I have considered the circumference in this side whenever I kept on the water. Now soap filling I have taken in the air. I have just, uh, just applied some soap to this and then I just pulled it like this. Then what will be formed here? Film will be formed, right? So film will be formed. So that so film will be there like this exactly. From this surface it will be there like this. From this surface it will be there like this. So for this entire needle, how many free surfaces? Nothing but two free surfaces which are touching the soap here. You are understanding that? So that always you just think about the free surfaces only. For the case of water, if I take the solid sphere and then water drop, both are same only. For the solid sphere, how many free surfaces? Only outer surface is touching the air. Whenever you take the soap bubble, soap bubble is touching the air how many times? Outer surface as well as inner surface. So that soap bubble will have two surfaces and then water drop will have only one surface. Write that. Write that. Note point. Water drop, <coughs> water drop will have only one free surface. Then it's up there. 